Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be testing out one of the brand new King of Fighters characters, Mai, in global PvP, alongside the green Halloween Gotha. So we've got Human, Unknown, we got Demon, and Fairy, because in order to activate his passive, you need uh, no more of one of any particular race. So it means if you've got, like, two demons, for example, it doesn't work. So yeah, we've got a mixed team here, and I think this should be a very, very spicy setup, man. We're running something. Uh, fairly similar yesterday with Keo, um, but I think first term. What are we gonna go for here? Okay, so this is definitely a player. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna chuck off the uh, the king cards and the Gotha card as well. Like I think with this team, man, pretty much whatever we do, there's not like a super good play to not upgrade Lost Vein. <laughs> so yeah, Lost Vein's getting those gold cards. My Gotha might die, but I hope he doesn't. We might be alright, I don't know. Like, Lost Vein, he claps uh, green units pretty damn hard. However, if Gotha survives here, man, we're going to be in a crazy spot. Okay, I think he's realized we're very vulnerable to attack the Sable, and he's definitely taking advantage of that right now. <laughs> and yeah, Gotha's also getting clapped a fair bit here. Okay, so that's uh, slightly bad news. However, uh, what is it? Gotha's... Um, Deplete certainly came in handy there, so that was a very good time. So I think we chuck off this card again, and let's go for a um, upgrade on my now. And then I think, do you want to go for a merger? I think we get the merger ready for next turn. Yeah, I think we go for that. Just because then we got a gold cards, so Gotha is definitely going to die. But then maybe we can clap back between my and Lost Vein here. Okay, nice. We got another My card as well. Got another Amplify Cleave. So the cards that she has, she's got an Amplify Cleave card, so we can hit everybody with it. And also the same single target drain card uh, that characters like Helbrum, Merlin have. Uh, the free, what is it, Red Barn as well. Going for Lost Vein card, maybe? No? That's going all nuke there. I think he was hoping to um, get Gotha down with that first play, but it didn't work out. <laughs> He's about to get punished very, very hard. Okay, I think we upgrade my hair, and let's go for let's go for the silver, and then let's go for the gold, bro. I, th I think this is it, man. I think this is it. Come on, we've also got like what is it, three stacks of Gotha's passive as well, so this should be mad damage. <laughs> let's go, let's clean up with the gold, man, please. <gasps> Oh my god, what a magical matchup. That was, uh, that was really, really good. Wow. <laughs> I'm crazy impressed, man. That was such a, an outstanding performance there. Alright, so we just hit champion 1. I might need to forfeit and tank back down to champion 2, because in champion 1 there are lots of bots, but let's see if we got a player on the line here, uh, or else I'm just going to insta-forfeit and we'll go back down and hopefully we can match some players there. But I hope, man, this is uh, a player. This is going to be very interesting if it is. Uh, yeah, he's using the, um, uh, what is it, green, uh, green Halloween Gotha as well. But dude, that's a lot of red characters, so I think that could be very fun. Okay, it's definitely a player on the line here. So I think we go for this play initially and line up the my play for next turn. So let's go for it. Halloween Gotha has some really nice ult control. Just because the AoE that he uh, does as well applies a debuff and at the end of their turn, uh, that's going to dissolve one ult gauge. But if you upgrade it, it's two. And then if you uh, gold it, then it's, uh, what is it, a total of four over two turns. So it can be very, very powerful. However, here, uh, we didn't draw any more upgrades on my cards. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a damage reduction due here next turn. But I think if we upgrade, go for the Amplify, and then maybe a Lost Vein Cleave is the way to go. But we've got a... Uh... <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of ignites on us, man. That Molascular and Keo combo, as we uh, were testing out yesterday, is uh, a little bit a little bit lethal, mate. But let's uh, upgrade my here. Let's go for the Amplify Cleave, and let's uh, cleave in with Lost Vein as well. And let's see where this gets us. So we've got 20% less damage on this one, but it's still a really, really nice cleave. Maybe... King. King's almost down there, but we've also got Malaskula's cheat death as well, so we do need to kill her. 
However, there's not much regeneration between the three of these, so we should be pretty good. Um, okay, we've got the Alt Drain as well. But I'm just trying to think what we're going to go for next turn. I think probably like single target into Malaskala. Okay, that's really good. There's no attack disable as well. Oh, actually, he's hitting really hard now. Oh, okay, dude. I'm getting slapped by Keo. Damn, son. Yeah, Keo actually managed to uh, regenerate a fair bit there as well. Um, have I got a play to win? I think if I go for this... Into Melascula, we still got a lot of additional damage output at the moment from... Um, uh, what is it? <laughs> okay, good. I was going to say uh, Green Gotha's passive there as well. He's got the additional da uh, damage output from. But that was a close match, man. That was really, really close. So well played to Merc. And also props to him as well for using something, you know, a little bit different, a little bit quirky. We certainly uh, enjoy that on the channel. This makes for a fun time in 4v4. I've been loving 4v4 on Global, man. It's been so much fun just because I feel like... Um, uh, I've seen the most variants in teams that I've ever seen on Global PvP. Like, I swear every match is just something new, a little bit quirky, but it's always very fun to face off against. Alright, so we just matched a bot. Fingers crossed this is a player. I might need to forfeit another match, but there's a little bit of a wait here, so I think there's a good chance that this is uh, somebody on the line. Yeah, it's enough of a delay that it's almost guaranteed to be a player running full pierce by the look of it as well. So I think this one should be uh, should be quite a fun matchup, man. I'm very excited to see what happens. But let's go for uh, the King cards and Gotha's card here. Because again, we want to have the, the punishment ready for my or Lost Fay Meliodas. But we want another my Amplify card or another upgrade. That's what we're uh, desperately after here. If we get another upgrade, man. Oh, it'd be so good have a look okay that's that's pretty good I'm trying to think what we go for here play wise hmm maybe nuke into blue demon melee with the drain or or do we throw these two off individually that is the question of the day or maybe we wait to be super greedy oh i don't know Okay, let, let's just try this play and see how it works. So let's uh, throw the two silver ones. <laughs> and uh, again, I'm not too sure if this is the right play to go for or not. But there's one. I think King's definitely going down here. Okay, very, very nice. My is so damn good, man. <laughs> there we go. Bonus forfeit the match. Well, um, yeah, you know, that was, a, that was a pretty good one, man. I'll certainly take that. All right. So, fingers crossed we got a player on the line here. Uh, oh, have we got that? Uh, did we fight Mook earlier? I think I think we did, man. Let's, uh, let's hope it's the, the man, the myth, the legend himself here. Let's go for a polite bow. And, yeah, it is. Going in for the round two rematch. So, here, I think we'll go for... Uh, our, our first battle was definitely very interesting. So I'm curious to see the outcome of this one. Because he was he was very close to getting me down with uh, Keo, man. <laughs> but let's see what happens. Okay, very nice. The really good thing about this Gotha as well is uh, you immediately start with uh, his passive. So you have one stack of it immediately. Okay, and that's really interesting. We've instantly got a... Um, Golden upgrade on my if we want it. I think we take it Who do you upgrade King? Okay going for the detonation. Okay. This could be a pretty nasty combo next turn actually Hmm My best play here is to um, Upgrade Lost Fay Meliodas and like double God Cleave but I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to go for uh, <laughs> double upgrade my... And then Golden Amplify Cleave. This might be a game-losing play right here, depending on the amount of uh, Keo cards he has. But it might be a game winner. Oh, mate, <laughs> it was still a really good Cleave. It's a solid effort, boys. Lost Vein. Um, is he going to die next turn? Maybe. I. If I was him, and I was like, got to focus on one character, it'd probably be Lost Vein. 
We still got the my cards. Maybe to win, we need to like to draw an amplify as well. Because I assume Lost Vein's gonna die. Okay, so double Keo cards. We get a golden cleave. Oh, okay. Oh, smashed by single target there. And then has he got another single target one? No, he's got cleave. Okay, King is still alive. We we don't know how to this day, but he is still he's still just about hanging in there. Okay, so I think here we go for um, this play, and then this, and then I think this cleans up quite nicely, and we also get a merger to refresh the buffs. So that gets Malascula down. These two cards should finish off uh, both King and Gotha. Maybe the first one does anyway. Just wanted to have that second one for a little bit of security there. Okay, nice. Kyo could still really hurt. He can actually get King and Gotha down pretty easily next turn. I'd actually be surprised if um, either of those live. But then we merge into a gold on Mai and win the game, I think. So yeah, he goes for either a silver or bronze slash. Those two die. We merge into gold. And also top deck ult as well. Okay, that's a little bit naughty. I think we uh, go straight for the ult then. My Mai is, she's 2 6. Let's go. Come on, Mai, you've got this. <laughs> nice. Uh, but fair play to Merc Man. He's been a, a great sport today. We've had some really, really close games as well. So hats off to him. All right. So fingers crossed for the, the final opponent today. We've got an actual player on the line. But Mai has really surprised me today, man. I think without Goddess Liz, her uh, Amplify Cleave is just oh, so damn good. But Goddess Liz's shield just cancels out all the Amplify stuff. Plus, you got Cheat Death on top of that, man. Oh, dude, I hope this is a player, man. This is going to be really, really cool if it is. We've got Redragon here. And I think we just go in for... I'm going to upgrade my initially. Yeah, definitely a player on the line here. Cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my... I don't really want to upgrade uh, Lost Vein. Give him silver, though. So, yeah, I think we chuck uh, Halloween Darkness off. I'm actually just going to go in for a Lost Vein card on his uh, Gotha here. Just don't want to give him, like, too much retaliation power. But I was pretty confident he'd get a single upgrade from that. But then he's got no way to make the cards gold. Oh, okay. Yes. I think if, um... What is it? If he goes for Lost Vein's AoE, he is going for Lost Vein's AoE. Oh, he's going for the gold cards. Okay, maybe my Gotha dead then, bro. I think my Gotha is dead. Or maybe my Lost Vein's dead. Okay. Going in for Lost Vein. Fair play. My cards. My cards. Do I get one more my card? Damn it. No more my cards. Okay, so we're going to upgrade my, and we're going to go for the big Amplify Cleave, and then we'll go for the gold into Lost Vein. We also need to get Keo down. Oh, they're both a bit of a threat. I think we go for Lost Vein, though, because he's quite close to alt gauge. Uh, sorry, maximum alt gauge. But let's go! Okay, nice. <laughs> Perfect. Lost Vein goes down. My, I think, is fully healed up after that as well. Like, because her damage output is so much, even a little bit of life steal goes a very long way on this character. The problem is now that that King Petrify could screw me so. Oh, that King Petrify is gonna screw me, man. I think I'm. I think I'm getting rinsed there. Or is it gonna be? It might be a heal. We'll we'll see what happens. Oh no, it is a heal. Okay, this is tremendous news. Well, I'm chuffed to pieces about that. But let's, um, I think we go in for... I really want to get Keo down, because those Ignites are starting to get, like, a little bit scary stacking up. But there's no way that I'm gambling on anything to do with uh, King or Gotha Living. If I had, like, another Amplify card here, <laughs> uh, some more my cards, man, I might be able to do something, but I think I'm going to be uh, a little bit too short. If he's got two Keo cards, he can get down King and Gotha, like, one cleave, one single target. My gets petrified from King, and then it's, it's just GG at that point, I would assume. 
We got no my cards as well. Oh gosh, this is a terrible time, boys. But the good news is Ghost is gonna die, <laughs> so we draw. I kind of need that king to die as well. I've got a miracle hope that we top deck like uh, at least a silver amplify card, and we don't get petrified. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting petrified, so <laughs> yeah. We're getting petrified and uh, altered next turn. So, oh, no, we're not getting altered. Okay, well, that we, we're not getting altered. So uh, maybe we ride it out a, a little bit more, man. I'm actually going gonna, gonna to dump this gold card here in the hopes that I can just merge one off the top and then draw a silver amplify card. But, you know, I think I'm probably dead next turn regardless. Or it's likely he's got another form of CC going on. But if Mike can clutch this comeback, <laughs> best character... I'm very doubtful. Very, very doubtful. I might even be dead next turn. I think he's going in double Keo cards. Has he got gold? Is that is that gold? Yeah, it is a gold. I'm I'm just toasted there. But fair play, man. It was definitely a uh, certainly a cool match there. But you win some, you lose some. I think, however, that has made me want to go for just one more match today. All right. So I just skipped ahead two matches. We had one bot match and one match. I got clapped by Pierce, man. Somebody playing uh, Red Gother alongside Pierce really, really well. I think. This, is this the same person we fought that just clapped me? I think it... No, it's a, lot, a little bit of a different person, but this was the team that got me. Uh, just went for go through attack disable plays. And again, this setup that I'm running today is very vulnerable to um, uh, attack disable. So yeah, it didn't work out too well. But let's uh, see if we do have a player here. I think judging by the CC, there's probably a pretty good chance that this is a player. But we'll see. Okay, nice. We got the dissolve there. Oh, that's really good draw on the Mai. Okay, he's taking his time with the play. I think this is, yeah, almost certainly a player on the line here. So he's going for Corrosion, Heal, and then an Omega card. Attack reduction, maybe on uh, Lost Vein, I would assume. Or maybe we might just chuck a, um, a Pierce card off. Yeah, he's just going for a Pierce card there. Okay, I think here we will, um, let's upgrade my, and then I think, do we want to go double cleave? Actually, I think we nuke into, um, nuke into Goth there, because he's probably like the character that I'm most worried about, because <laughs> of that, that attack disable. Nuke into Goth there, and then golden amplify cleave. And yeah, Ghost is definitely going down, man. He's so in the bin here. Very, very nice. And Rugal. We actually didn't trigger Rugal's uh, passive there. We might trigger it off King's Detonation, maybe? I don't know if that um, triggers it or if it needs to be an actual hit. <laughs> I forgot, but he's, he's borderline 50% there. But if it doesn't trigger it, then we can use uh, a Lost Vein gold card to uh, quickly finish off next turn. Oh, we do have the attack reduction, though. But yeah, we should we should be pretty good regardless. <laughs> well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad. Again, Mai is an absolute powerhouse. If you get kind of those silver, gold cards upgraded, man, she's just really, really good. But I look forward to kind of playing about with her a little bit more in... Um, uh, geared PvP, like her, a uh, Mega Rugal, and also Keo, like three characters I really want to sort out UR sets for in Global, because I think they all have some really, really good potential. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on my in the comment section below, and if you did enjoy today's showcase, please do smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching, take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.